Today is October 29th, 2017, and it's the weekend after the last weekend of autocross here in Fort Wayne. And wow, that really sucks. I'm just not ready for winter yet. I was pretty happy with how the last two events of the year finished out. The second to last one, I think I got 11th out of like 92 participants. And then the most recent one last weekend uh, in raw times, me and the Miata got third out of 51 cars. So I was really happy with that. We were 0.8 seconds behind the leader, which is really awesome compared to where we were last year when um, I did my first autocross event. Uh, so I actually ended up like in the bottom five out of over 50 cars and I was 13 seconds behind the leader. So, I mean, there's been some pretty decent modifications to the car, but um, I'm really happy with the, you know, driver mod that has happened so far. Hopefully there's a fastest time of the day in our future, maybe next year. But how are we going to get there? So that's kind of what I'm struggling with right now. I want to upgrade the car in a way that makes the most money sense. And, you know, you're, we're going to get the most bang for the buck and not have to, you know, kind of like undo anything that we already did. I guess you could always increase the wheel and tire size, but I kind of wanted to wait until forced induction happened. So at this point, I've pretty much already decided that uh, I think a supercharger is the way to go. So I was looking at fast forward superchargers, their uh, twin screw kit. Uh, they say it bumps it, the car up to about 190 to 200 horsepower, which would be awesome. But I was talking to my neighbor about that a little bit and he has me kind of, you know, second guessing myself, uh, wondering if that's really the most um, economic thing I should do. And just making me think about some of my options here, uh, kind of make me think, should I go with a different platform, a different engine that weighs the same? Are there other kits that you could get for less expensive, uh, a less expensive cost? Um, I threw out there that the fast forward superchargers kit that includes everything would be about six grand. And he was thinking, you know, you might be able to do something cheaper than that, like uh, uh, an old Corvette motor or uh, I don't know, just a bunch of different things. And then he got me going down the path of, well, if you have that much power to the engine, what are you gonna need to do with the internals? And is the transmission gonna hold that and the differential? Um, and then you're probably gonna have to upgrade, you know, tires again. So I think I have a little bit more research to do before I start spending money. It'd be nice to, uh, you know, be able to take advantage of all the time we have this winter to uh, be able to work on the car, you know, like take it, strip it down. If the engine needed rebuild, you know, put in some new internals, whatever, uh, would have been nice to have already had that figured out. Yeah, hopefully I get that research done pretty quick. If you guys uh, have any suggestions or you know, uh, about this engine or uh, like engine tuning, uh, what uh, aftermarket ECU I should go with, things like that. I would love to hear any of your suggestions. Um, things like uh, what internal parts are forged, if anything, and you know how much power the Miata can actually take. Uh, just any suggestions you have, I'd be very open to uh, listening to those. So I guess, yeah, I just wanted to give everyone a, a quick update on, I guess, where me and the car are at. I mean, we haven't made really any changes since the first autocross event of this season. So, um, oh, well, there's one thing I want to do, uh, move the fuel tank over to the passenger side. I don't know if I really want the weight of a passenger in there anymore. And also I noticed under braking that the passenger side wheels were locking up and also under acceleration, the back right wheel was uh, still slipping. So maybe that does mean limited slip differential because this has the open diff now. And maybe it means wider tires and slicks, but I mean, tires are always a big deal. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think and we'll catch you next time. Cheers. Cheers.